Hi, this is JP from Not A Lots Over Arkham. Welcome to my blind playthrough of the read or die scenario with Parallel Daisy Walker. And uh, I only just recently got these Parallel Investigators, so I haven't had the chance to play any of these uh, challenge scenarios. So this is my first try of uh, playing uh, the read or die scenario. I built a Daisy Walker parallel deck using 39 experience and uh, let's look at the deck first. Okay, we are on arcandb.com and here is my Daisy Walker parallel deck that I'm using. Uh, first off, uh, we have a lot of tomes. As you can see, the idea of this uh, scenario is to get some tomes out of the locations, have uh, enough tomes in play to boost my willpower up as much as possible and we need four tomes in play to have a chance to defeat the enemy and win the scenario. So I took some experienced tomes as I can build a standalone deck with as much XP as I need. So we have uh, a Bussel Tome. This is here because it's a way to actually have a chance to fight with the, uh, intellect because our willpower is low at the start but we'll see how this works then I have a newer tome uh, it is the astronomical atlas uh, we can use this to get cards out of our deck onto the atlas and commit them to eligible skill tests but it's mainly because I wanted to try it out and it is a tome so we need that to win the scenario then we have a, a trusty encyclopedia level 2 uh, then the all-powerful narcotic uh, manuscripts it is a really strong tome card then uh, we have a scroll of Prophecies, which uh, lets us look for other tomes in our deck once we get this into play. And uh, then the last tome we have is uh, Skofner's Catalog, which will let us play item assets cheaper, which will synergize well with the other tomes. Then other cards I included is Ion Chart Level 1. Uh, Daisy can't take the higher level Ion Chart as I am. Uh, was building which I found strange but well it is what it is it is a relic so it goes to the relic slot so it doesn't compete with the hand slots of the tomes uh, then uh, I tried out the sleuth which will help us play uh, tomes cheap uh, we, we get extra resources to play tomes which is uh, really good for uh, Daisy uh, then another fighting card is I've got a plan. Uh, Minor wear matter, always good. And I decided to take the level 2 version, as it also draws you a card. Then, of course, deduction for the couple of level uh, 2 clue locations. Inquiring mind, always good. Promise of power, always really strong. Uh, take the initiative because we can take level 0 guardian cards. This is a really good uh, skill card to have for your first action or the actions uh, or skill test in the mythos phase. Then, because I have a lot of experience, 39 altogether, uh, which I noticed that the charisma is useless because I only have uh, Witton Green to look for my tomes from my deck once I get them in back into the deck. Uh, Charisma is a useless card but it doesn't matter because uh, it doesn't trigger any of our extra weaknesses. Uh, Dr. Henry Armitage starts in play and doesn't take up an ally slot so basically I don't need the Charisma but it doesn't matter. Uh, I took uh, four weaknesses. I got Reckless. Then I got Internal Injury, Overzealous, which is a really bad one, and uh, Silver Twilight Acolyte. So 
those are the weaknesses. Uh, basically, that is everything I wanted to talk about the deck. Let's hop up, hop back to the scenario, and I'll go over the scenario for a bit. Okay, and um, we start this scenario in the own library. Uh, we have tome cards or tome assets underneath every location except the Miskatonic Quad, and the own library has six tome uh, tome assets underneath it. We get those tome assets by using clues at our location or on the location where Daisy is. So we go get those uh, tome assets back into our deck. So they get shuffled into our deck and I, we need to draw them to be able to play them. So it is a bit hard. So I'm hoping to get Witton Green into play as soon as possible. So we can use her to search for them once we get some tomes into our deck. And uh, yeah, uh, we need four tomes in play to be able to do the parlay test on the uh, namer of the dead. And uh, then there's a uh, willpower 18 test, and we get plus one for each tome we control or non weakness tome we control. I'm using the um, parallel uh, replacement. Uh, Daisy's tote bag and Necronomicon that come with the parallel investigator. So those are in play for me for the first time also. But that is basically all I wanted to say about the deck and the scenario. So let's get started. So we are ready to start. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, Jazz Mulligan is in play in the science building. So we have the ability to go there and parlay with Jazz and get Jazz to come with us, which will help us move around easier. So I think our first plan is to grab this clue and maybe one home and start moving to the science building to go get Jazz to help us out. So uh, let's draw our opening hand. So we are, our deck is quite um, slim. Well, we've got the Necronomicon, so we got the Daisy's Toad back, which is good, the Eon Chart, which is good, and a couple of uh, skills. So I'm, I think I'm uh, reshuffling, uh, mulliganing the other Eon Chart and the uh, deduction. So we'll draw two more cards, we replace the Reckless. So we got Inquiry Mind and Sleuth, so uh, okay, starting hand, we got the Toad back, so we have plenty of uh, slots to get Tom's assets into play. So that is good. Just quick shuffle to the deck and we are ready to start our first turn. Okay, and uh, first off, uh, the namer of the dead starts in play uh, exhausted, so it uh, it isn't engaged with us immediately. So first turn, I think I won't play anything because um, I want to investigate. Then I want to uh, use the clue here. Actually, mm, it is a fast action, so we might as well play something. So I'm playing the Eon chart. So Eon Chart comes into play with the three secrets, and I'm immediately using the Eon Chart. Well, we actually could also play the Toad back. So I'm playing the Toad back. That's my second action. And uh, mm, do I want to? I'll commit the inquiry mind to the test just to be sure. So I'm using the Eon chart, so this doesn't take up an action. So, uh, first skill test of the game uh, we are testing. Uh, we have a 5 intellect plus 3, so 8 versus 3. So we should be okay getting this clue here. 
it is a zero, so we easily grab the clue. We will immediately uh, spend the clue as a fast action to get one of these cards underneath here. So we'll just grab one at random. So we can, uh, as I understand, look at the card so we know what card goes into our deck. So it's a scroll of prophecies, so we shuffle that into our deck. And hope to draw it soon enough. Oh. And that is the second action. Last action, we'll just move out of the own library to get away from the Namer of the Dead and go towards the science building. Uh, that is all of our actions. Let's see. So we have actually the scenario also gives us two extra hand slots for tome assets. So now we have six tome asset uh, slots. So I'm using the lower row here. Uh, I think I don't have any arcane items. So these all are hand items now. Or hand item slots now. So uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We ready up everything. We draw one card. Uh, yeah, well, of course, we draw the Necronomicon. So the Necronomicon comes into play with three um, horror on it. So this Necronomicon is a bit different. So it's uh, it takes up a hand slot. So uh, then its uh, Elder Sign is a cultist tablet and Elder Thing token combined. So it's actually maybe even more uh, harder to deal with than the auto fail. And we can, as an action, move one horror from this card to Daisy Walker. Then this card has no horror on it. We discard it. So we probably want to get rid of the Necronomicon. Then we get a resource. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda. Uh, the threshold for this agenda is 12, and there are no other agendas uh, for this scenario. Also, we forgot to flip Miskatonic Quad. Then... Let's see... Yeah, so we need to draw a Mythos card. Or the encounter card. So the first encounter card is Arcane Barrier. Attached to your location as an additional cost for you to move into or out of the attached location test. Uh, willpower 4. If successful, discard Arcane Barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effect of the move or discard the top 5 cards of your deck. Uh, so I think the first action here is to. Uh, use the take the initiative to get rid of this. So first action, or actually, we will use the Eon chart. So we do the move action. We'll use the take the initiative. So we are testing. Uh, we have. So we get. Uh, I control a tome asset because the Necronomicon is a tome. So I have a two willpower. So we are at five willpower. So hoping to pass this test. So we get a skull, and skull is X. X is the number of tome assets this Walker controls. So it's one. So we pass. So we get rid of this. Luckily and are able to move to the science building. Then uh, there's a clue here which we want to grab. So I am investigating uh, 5 versus 2. Uh, let's first do the action for the Necronomicon. So we move one horror from it we can do this only well as many times as we want but we probably 
don't want to do all of those actions at once, so I will investigate uh, 5 versus 2. Uh, it is a call, this reveal another token. If you fail, discard the top two cards of your deck. It is an elder thing. Uh, minus three, if you fail, Daisy Walker takes one horror. Uh, so, we still succeed because we are five versus two. So, we grab this clue, and I'm using the clue immediately to get this tome into our deck and it is the encyclopedia so let's shuffle that in then uh, we will parlay with jazz so we are parling Uh, 5 versus 3. And it is an auto fail. So, the first auto fail of the game. I don't have any other good actions here, so I'm just falling again. So, 5 versus 3, second time. I call this again. And a plus 1, so we are able to convince Jazz Mulligan to join us and I'll just put Jazz over here and that is our turn enemy actions the namer of the dead moves to Miskatonic Quad because it has a Hunter and it has the Prey Daisy Walker uh, no other enemy actions will go to upkeep we ready up we draw a card I got a plan, well, we don't have any clues yet, and uh, we gain one resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the agenda, and counter card for this turn is uh, Offer of Power, Peril, Revelation, you must either choose one to draw two cards and place two Doom on the current agenda, or take two Horror. I am taking the Horror, because we have plenty of Horror uh, Soak available and we don't want to draw cards and uh, add doom so that is the mythos phase uh, first action we are using jazz's ability which comes from this uh, agenda so jazz mulligan gains action move to a miskatonic location up to three locations away so we can skip locations so one two so we'll go to the faculty offices and it is a two shard location with two clues so we are trying to get these clues from here then I'll use the last charge of the Ion charge to investigate five versus two actually uh, before that I'll play the Salute. So it has two resources and these are replenished each round. So I'll just place it over here. Actually, let's uh, organize this a bit better. So we have Salute in play. Then uh, Second action, we will. Oh, yeah, this is the Ion Chart action. So, first action move, second action play, loot, then the Ion Chart action. We are investigating 5 versus 2, minus 1. And we'll investigate again 5 versus 2. Or we will actually uh, use the ability here. So, uh, we'll discard one clue, and we get another encycl encyclopedia that is shuffled into our deck, hoping to start drawing these uh, tomes, and now we have the sleuth, so once we 
draw the tomes, we should have resources. Oh yeah, and I forgot to pay for the sloop. There. Okay. And uh, yeah, last action we will uh, move on. Horror from the Necronomicon onto Daisy Walker. And uh, then the Breeder of the Dead Mo hunts to administration building. And that is the turn. We ready up. We draw a card. Another <laughs> I got a plan. And we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the, end, to the agenda. And uh, the encounter card for this turn is Visions of Futures Past. Test Willpower 5 for each point you fail by discard the card of your deck. Okay, so hoping not to discard a lot of weaknesses. Uh, I am Willpower 2. So 2 versus 5. Minus three, so we discard five cards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So both the encyclopedias go into the discard, which is bad. But uh, we have the Elder Sun ability. You may return a Tome Asset from your discard pile to your hand. So now at least we have Tome Assets there. So if we draw an Elder Sign, once we get rid of the Necronomicon, we can start doing that. So, uh, first thing we do is to get rid of the Necronomicon. So we take a horror. We are uh, 5 horror of 7 on Daisy. Then, second action we will investigate. I just will take the clue, easy clue from here. So, 5 versus 2. It is a plus one. We'll get the clue and last action we'll use Jazz Mulligan's ability and move one, two, three. We'll go to the dormitories. And there are a lot of clues here, so we'll probably get a couple of clues from here and get the. Well, we can also just grab the tome right away. So I'm using the clue, so we get Abyssal Tome shoveled into our deck. Just, uh, yeah, the location doesn't have to be empty of clues. Okay, so just shuffling the deck. There's a lot of shuffling apparently in this scenario because we are shuffling the tomes into our deck. So that is everything we can do. Uh, enemy actions, this enemy hunts here. We ready up, we draw a card, we get another Ian chart, which is good, and we gain one resource. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are at 4 of 12 doom, and counter card for this turn is, it is a Weeper Will. So let's mark it over here. At this point this doesn't concern us that much. but. As we know, Whipper Wheels are <laughs> the most annoying enemies of the game, so probably later it will become annoying. So, first action, uh, we will play the Eon chart, replacing the other Eon chart. And I will immediately use the Eon chart to make an investigation. So we are investigating 4 versus 1 because of the Whipper Wheel. It is a skull, it is a zero, so we grab the clue. We'll investigate again. And uh, at this moment, I think I noticed uh, we moved with Jazz, so one, two, three, so we couldn't have moved there, so this was here, so maybe we move one, two, three, so let's back up. So. Uh, we get the Abyssal Tome from here. Yeah, uh, the, I forgot the location connections here, so we couldn't actually move here. Instead we move to the Humanities building. 
and also this couldn't move here. So we'll return the clue here, or actually we didn't even reveal this. So we still succeeded here, so we'll grab one clue from here with the test. And uh, okay, I think this is correct now. Uh, yeah, so instead we spent the one clue previously here, so we got the um, Platoic manuscripts shuffled into our deck. I think we are on track now. We have corrected our little game mistake there. So we still have one action left, so... Mm. Oh yeah, this hunted also here. Let's count again. So I played the Aeon chart, I investigated, I then I'm using Jazz to move three locations. So one, two, three. Now we can go to the dormitories. And uh, we can spend the clue here. So now we get this into our deck. So we have uh, a bunch of tomes uh, in our deck already. Hoping to draw at least one of them sometime soon. Then uh, uh, last action. We'll investigate. So investigating five versus one. Yeah. Okay, that is the correct color now. It is an elder sign ability, so we get to grab one of these tomes. So I'll grab the encyclopedia. Get it in our hand so we can play it next turn. Then uh, we grab a clue, and that is that. So we'll go to the enemy phase. This moves here, this hunts here. We ready up, we draw a card, deduction, and we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom to the Agenda, 5 of 12, Encounter card. For this turn is a Yuthian Observer, so... Uh, pray few scores. And when Yuthian Observer attacks you, discard one card at random from your hand. If you cannot, the Yuthian Observer deals 1 damage and 1 horror to this attack, so... This will screw up our game uh, quite a bit, because we really don't have good ways to deal with this. We have, um, I've got a plans in our hand, but they are costly. Okay, well, we could try to evade. I'm actually thinking of evading this Yetian Observer. It doesn't have Hunter, so I think our game plan for this turn is evade, uh, investigate with the deduction, then uh, move to own library and grab another, or play at home maybe. So uh, we'll use the Eon chart to evade. And I'm using uh, Henry Armitage's ability to discard one of the I've got a plans. So it. Uh, no, it doesn't help us. Oh, damn. Damn, damn. 
good uh... <sighs> well well this is hard now because I think we have to discard the uh, encyclopedia to have a chance to succeed in this evasion. So unfortunately we'll discard the encyclopedia or uh, commit it. So uh, we are testing three versus three versus uh, Three. Yeah, so the Ethian Observer has a, uh, a date of 3. So, 3 versus 3, hoping for an 0 plus 1 or an Elder Sign. And it is an Elder Sign. So, we actually get the other um, other encyclopedia into our hand. So, this goes into the discard. So, this worked out pretty good. So, this enemy is evaded. We will not be returning here for sure. So first action, we'll use these resources to play Encyclopedia. Uh, then we'll investigate with the deduction. So uh, six versus one, minus three. So we grab both of these clues. Last action, we'll use Jazz to move three locations. So now um, we have to think where we want to go. So um, one, two, three. Yeah, let, we'll go here. Uh, well, no, let's go to the administration building. And we'll spend one clue immediately to get this tome into our deck. And it is another scroll of prophecies. Okay. And that is our turn. Enemy actions. This enemy hunts here. This enemy hunts here. We ready up. We draw a card. We get internal injury. And we gain one resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, there's one clue here, but I think we just ignore it. Okay, so at the end of our turn we have to we actually had to discard at the end of our turn, so this should have been discarded. And then the card we drew is actually the Scroll of Prophecies, which is really good. And this replenish at the end of the round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Uh, 6 of 12, so we are halfway through the uh, Doom. And count card is uh, Visions of Futures Past, so we are uh, testing one versus five. It is a skull, it is a minus one, so we discard five cards from our deck. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully, no tomes. Reckless, overzealous, <laughs> mind over matter, silver, violet, acolyte, and wheat and green. So, wheat and green would have wanted to see, but the others are really good that they went. So actually we don't have any, I think we don't have any weaknesses in the deck anymore. Yeah, so every weakness is in our discard at this moment. So, uh, first action, we will just... Uh, we'll have to think about this. So we'll just move... Uh, first, I think we'll just play this scroll of prophecies. So there are four... Oh, there are four secrets here. And I will spend one secret. I will draw three cards. 
then I will discard two cards from my hand. So these will go. So we got some more tomes. Then. Last action, or we also have the Eon chart left, so... Well, we will uh, first use uh, Eon chart to move. So... Actually, yeah, we can't use Eon chart to move with Jazz's ability. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, back up. So I'm using the Eon chart to move uh, over here. Last action, I'm using two from here, one from here. Actually, yeah. I forgot to pay for the scroll of prophecies for the first action to play it. Second action to use it, move it, and uh, we will uh, play Scroll of Prophecies. It is not unique, so pay three for that. And uh, that is our whole turn. Enemy actions, this enemy hunt here, this enemy hunt here. Wheel ready up. We draw one card. It is mind over matter. We gain one resource. Please replenish. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So 7 of 12. Encounter card is ancient evil. So we unfortunately lose a turn. But it is what it is. So let's think about this for a moment. Uh, we will first action uh, use these two resources to play uh, Abyssal Tome. So now we have a uh, willpower of 5 and plus 5 sanity. Then uh, we could try to parlay, but I think we want to get more tomes into our hand and in play before we try that. So first action, I will use Jazz to move three. So one, two, three, we'll go to own library. We'll immediately spend one clue here. I'm just checking. Yeah, let's just use both of the clues. So we'll grab uh, two cards. So Let's take this one and for example that one. So we get uh, both of the Scofner's catalogs. And we'll shuffle them into our deck. And, and then I will uh, use scroll of prophecies. Look at the three cards, grab two. So I'm uh, actually discarding this because we don't have room for more than two. So I'll grab these so I can play both of them next round and be able to uh, be ready to try to defeat the uh, enemy. And uh, last action, we will move over here. No, actually we won't. Oh yeah, um, yeah, I forgot we need to... Uh, yeah, we forgot to spend the extra action at the start of the game, but it is too late to correct that. Well damn. Okay, well, it is what it is. I haven't played this for a while, so making some mistakes, but yeah. Mm. So 
we really want to keep those two clues on locations so we can use the inquiry mind for the test so maybe we'll uh, let this let's see so this doesn't hurt us a bit so I, I think our last action is to move move here at the end of your turn if you are okay so we would discard card so we'll just stay here last action we'll draw a card it is the promise of power so scratch that we don't need the clue on the location and that is our turn uh, enemy movement this moves here this moves here we ready up we draw a card we turn green a bit late but doesn't matter this replenish and we gain more resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we are 9 doom of 12 and the encounter card is visions of futures past so now we have a willpower of 1 2 3 4 5 against 5 and uh, We'll just test it. So 5 against 5, it is a 0, so we pass, so we don't discard any cards. So first action, we'll use these resources to play Scoffer's Catalog, and this isn't a unique either. Second action, we will spend another two resources to play the other scoffers catalog so we're full loaded with tomes with a willpower of seven and uh, we have plenty of uh, plenty of uh, ho uh, sanity to go around last action we will just move here so we can use the inquiry mind next round when we try to defeat the enemy uh, enemy actions, this enemy hunts here, this enemy hunts here and attacks us for one damage and one horror. We just take it on jazz and that is it. So we ready up, we draw a card, we get the <laughs> take the initiative, so even better. Uh, we'll take one direct horror for uh, going through our deck and we have to shuffle our deck back as a discard uh, uh, or discard back into our draw deck. So that is it. So uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh, yeah. We also gain one resource and we replenish this. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, yeah, for. Okay, so let's. Uh, we have to discard a lot of cards, so we actually had to discard this. So we took the horror, then we have to, then we draw a card at the end of. The, well, <laughs> okay, uh, it is the same card, so we're good. We're good. So we'll add a doom. We are at ten of twelve. We still have a couple of turns. Then count the card is. Light of Aforgom, so you must attach Light of Aforgom to either the current agenda or the current act. Limit one per act and agenda, treat all damage and as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. Really attach it to the act. So, first action. We will parlay. So, the... Uh, Let's see, so, Namer of the Dead. Action. If you are Daisy Walker and you control at 4, non-weakness tome assets, parlay. Test. Willpower 18. This test gets minus 2 difficulty for each tome asset you control. If you succeed, advance the act. So, uh, we get minus 12. We'll commit take the initiative. So we are testing, uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 against 6. 
8, 9, 10 versus 6. So I'm actually not committing anything else. If we fail with an auto fail or something, then uh, uh, we still have two more tries. So falling. It is a skull. <coughs> Number of time versus daisy control, so we actually failed the parlay. Okay, we'll try again. Now I'll commit the promise of power and inquiring mind. We really want to succeed, so we add two curse tokens into the bag. Okay, sorry, one curse token into the bag. But uh, we are testing 7, 14 against 6. It is a 0, so we advance the act. So this discards. And uh, let's see. So uh, if you succeed, advance the act. Page Turner. You stand in the restricted section of the Orn Library, surrounded by volumes of ancient heretical texts. The incantations you have found may prove to be enough to dispel, enough to dispel the entity, or perhaps bind it back within the Necronomicon from where, whence it came. Your voice rises to a crescendo as you repeat the words. Shadows crawl across the room, the walls and ceiling bend, pages flutter in the temp tempestuous gale, Every fiber in your hair, uh, of your hair is whisked into the air. All is swept away in the ensuing chaos, like a wet paintbrush uh, kissing the canvas of reality. Resolution 1. So, uh, let's see. Re resolution 1. Uh, when you wake, the floor of the library is a mess of scattered paper and torn books. The Necronomicon lies in front of you. Its metal clasp sealing it shut once more. Hopefully, whatever presence had been unleashed is safely stored within, but you can't risk the grimoire staying here. It is far too dangerous to be left alone. You stuff the tome into your tote bag, knowing only you can keep it safe or keep others safe from it. So, Daisy Walker earns experience equal to the, either the combined victory X value of each card in the victory display or equal to the number of Thomas that she had in play at the end of the game, whichever is higher. So, uh, we would receive six experience from the tomes, tomes each. And then each other investigator only earns experience equal to the combined victory X value of each card in the victory display. Well, it is one, two, it is three. Well, that's also good. Daisy Walker may either upgrade Daisy's tote bag to its advanced version or downgrade to the advanced version of the Necronomicon. So, well, that was, yeah. So, I think, uh, yeah, now, now I remember we should have had the original tote bag in, in game, but I didn't use this ability. So we didn't gain the fast, so let's pretend this was the original talk back, but it is what it is. So that was uh, read or die, and we actually beat it on the blind playthrough. Well, I had a 39 experience deck, so uh, I was pretty well geared up to defeat the scenario. But still, um, this was a fun scenario, and we didn't uh, hit any of the worst possible encounter cards and all that stuff but still a fun scenario and if you can get a hold of this I really recommend you grab it and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching and until next time.